Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing the KonMari method or the Marie Kondo method on all of my clothes. So if you've watched my channel before, you might have noticed an upgrade in the quality of this video. Um, I did just get a new camera and it cost me 700 pounds. So how am I gonna pay for this? I'm gonna eBay and Vinted a load of my clothes. I'm also going on holiday in like nine days so I can pick out the bits that I want for holiday and it's just a great time to sort out all my clothes. I will say that I feel like I'm not like a massive consumer of clothing. Um, maybe you'll think differently when I get everything out, but I do this method like every couple of years. So I like to keep my clothes pretty minimal and to things that I just use. So let me show you where all my clothes are. So this is my dresser. I have the top two drawers and they are literally like this one I can't even open full to the brim. These are all clothes that are supposed to fit in here, but currently don't. And then we also have these built-in wardrobes. My boyfriend uses most of this one. My clothes are like this much. And then I have two cases here. One of them is also filled with clothes. We keep a duvet shoved in here for when guests come to stay. And this is all my jackets. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep all of my jackets. I'm not gonna get rid of any of them, but we will. We'll do the method. So step one of the method, if you don't know, is just get everything out. And I mean everything. This is also the case I plan to take away, so I need to go through it and empty it anyway. There's so many clothes. A lot of these are like summer clothes that we put away for the summer, but some of them are also clothes that I don't fit into yet. I know loads of other girls must do this. You keep things that aren't in your size, but like some of them are just so perfect. Like these are a pair of toast cords. They're normally like, I don't know, 80, 100 quid. I got them for a tenner, but they're in my goal size, which is a size 10. I'm currently a size 14. I will get into them. I'm not giving them away. I'm sorry. These are a keep. God, more jeans I don't fit. So many things I forgot I owned. Oh my God. I thought this was a shared case. My boyfriend has like this amount of clothes he'd put away. Maybe I do own more than I thought I did. So the long-term plan for this wardrobe is to build some shelves in and put the suitcases under the bed so that we have more storage for our clothes. But that's all my boyfriend, so... I can't even get the pile in one shot. Let me try and do a far away shot. So these are all my clothes in a pile. I don't think it's that bad compared to some others. That is not including jackets. Did I get the jackets out? Okay, one second. So these are all my clothes, including my jackets. I think we'll start with my jackets because I've only got like eight. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any of them. First up, we have a fur jacket. It's a classic, won't be getting rid. I got it from Zara. This is a Levi's denim jacket. I got it when I visited um, the last time I went to the States, actually. It's not a great quality look, but I am gonna fix it. So they do spark joy, they can stay. This is a puffer jacket. I have two puffer jackets. One is full length, one is shorter. This one is definitely thinner. It's a cheaper one from H&M. I got when I was in Paris. I literally only buy clothes when I'm on holiday. Um, this was back when I still bought from like fast fashion brands as well. That's like my lighter puffer jacket. This is my amazing Ralph Lauren. Um, I don't know what kind of jacket it is. It isn't waterproof, but this is like my, when I'm rich and live in the countryside, gonna walk my dog in this jacket. I'm obsessed. It was, I don't know, maybe like 60 quid from TK Maxx. And I was going on about it for ages and I was like, oh, it's so colorful, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. But I bought it for myself and then my birthday came and my best friend had already bought it for me as well. So funny. So we returned her one because it was the wrong size. Um, because they're actually men's sizes, so it's like a sm extra small. And I'm like a size 16, but it's a men's size. But I love this. I love these type of coats for the office. I only have one, it's in a medium, so it doesn't quite fit, but I'm determined to fit into it. Um, I do really feel like this is the year I'm finally going to be a size 10 again. This is probably my favourite jacket of all time, but I don't get to wear it enough because it is so warm. It's from All Saints. I got it in Bista Village. Reduced from 500 down to like 190. Um, it is a full length puffer. It is so warm. I've literally worn it like once in the UK, but this is the jacket I will have for life if I ever go skiing. And then I just have a rain mac. Everyone needs a rain mac. Finally, if I was gonna get rid of any coat, it would be this one, but I can't. My boyfriend's mum bought it for me for Christmas. It's nice, it's a pea coat. It's just not really my thing. Pea co I normally like the long, smart coats, but it is my size. So for now, it's the only like smart jacket I have that fits. So we'll keep it. And then once I slim into the gray one, 
I'll sell this bad boy on. So yeah, I would say missing from my jacket collection would be a leather jacket. I've just realized I keep looking in the viewfinder. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna try and remember to look into the camera. This is my first time filming with my new camera. So I can see two things here from my normal wardrobe, which I think should be jackets. This is also from All Saints. It's like a full length hoodie and I just think it is so cool. Um, and it's got layers and it like zips. Um, it's a bit washed out, but I'm probably gonna try and dye on my black things, but this definitely spoils jewelry. It makes me feel cozy and happy and it's staying. So next I'm gonna go through the clothes that are from my hanging wardrobe. I have some like shirts that are for when I do like agency work for hospitality. They're not the nicest, but I hate having to rebuy them. So I'll keep. This is a dress I bought um, on Koh Panyang in Thailand and I probably will bring it as like a beach cover up for America. Okay, this is what I don't get with the KonMari method. Like some of these shirts are for work and I do need them, I don't spark joy. And maybe she's like, even your work clothes should spark joy, but anyway. This does spark joy. It's just a plain white shirt. My mum bought it for me when I graduated and it was for like my interviews and it's a great shirt. It's by m and It fits my boobs and it's staying. I didn't want to have to try things on, but I know I'm going to have to. This shirt is by Cotton Traders. I think I bought it secondhand. And I just, I don't know why it doesn't spark joy. I've never wore it, but it is cool. I'm going to go put on my U Swim bikini and see if I could wear this over it. These two items definitely spark joy. They're my U Swim bikinis. If you're here from TikTok, then you know I did a review and try on of these. Um, but yeah, they're gorgeous. I mean, I probably wouldn't wear it with this bikini, but it is a cool shirt. I think I just need to get over it and actually wear it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. <clears throat> Another fun holiday shirt. This is a vintage shirt um, from a big vintage wholesale um, thing that I bought to sell on eBay. I'm gonna keep it. This shirt I literally just bought on Vinted with the intention of wearing over my bikinis on holiday, so let's try it. First up, it is way bigger than I thought it would be and it has these, um, things on the arm that it wasn't clear. Probably get someone to do this better or I could try and cut them off. It's absolutely huge. Realistically, I'm gonna be wearing shorts one sec. Okay, these are the shorts I bought from Vinted. Let me know what you think. I mean, I'm gonna keep the shirt for sure, but it is absolutely massive. Shorts, defo spark joy, they're staying. I bought this Malta t-shirt in a charity shop for like a pound. I think it's really cool. I'm gonna keep it. Then I have some sentimental clothes that absolutely do not fit me, but I'm gonna keep them. Shorts I bought in Guatemala when I was little skinny bitch um my levers hoodie from the uni that i did my masters at because i'm a bit of a tomboy i always thought like oh i'm gonna have dresses to um give to like my daughter one day so i kept two dresses for my teen years this is the dress i wore to harrow's speech day <laughs> and this is the dress i wore to prom it was actually like five rows longer but bodycon was very in trend back then there's literally a stain on it um, and I cut it and I did some like dodgy sewing. I just kept these two dresses to show my kids one day, I don't know. And maybe if I ever get married, I'll have another dress to give them. Immediately with some clothes that are gonna be up on my Vinted. This Reese jumper I wore secondhand. Okay, these trousers I bought on Vinted too. And I just feel like they're so tight that they're a bit inappropriate because they're such a light color. This is another top that I got secondhand. I really like it, I don't know why I've never wore it. This dress my mum gifted me from Monsoon is absolutely stunning. A dress to give my kids. I can't keep all these clothes just to give my kids. This is like my go-to summer dress. I don't know if it sparks joy, but let me try on some more dresses. Okay, this one I just bought on Vinted and I just think it, I feel this is more me right now. I did really like that red dress for a while, but I think that's going in the to sell pile. This is one of my favourite jumpsuits of all time. It's monkey. I think it's an L or an XL. Definitely keeping it for America. Quick overview of what I'm keeping. These are office clothes. These are the only things I'm letting myself keep that don't currently fit me. It's three pairs of trousers. These are all my jumpers. This is all my sports gear. Three pairs of jeans that do fit. Vest, hat and sock. So my favorite leggings of all time are the Sweaty Betty Zero Gravity ones. I have some that aren't black, but the only ones that I have that are black have a hole in them and I keep meaning to repair them. And I'm like, am I ever gonna repair these? Or should I just sell them and someone else can? If I haven't fixed these in by the time I go to America, I'm selling them. So now I just need to clean out the drawers, fold everything nicely and put it all away. 
So yeah, the folding is quite key in the KonMari method too. You basically want to be able to see everything that you own when you open your drawers. So you kind of fold them so that they are able to stand up in the drawer so you can see them all from above. I also forgot, she also says you're supposed to say thank you as you get rid of your clothes. And I will say thank you as they sell on Vinted. <laughs> This is how much I'm selling. Like, honestly, it is so much. It's a whole wash basket full. Shirts, shorts, joggers, jeans. This stuff is all going on holiday. Most of it is like hanging stuff anyway, so it wouldn't have ended up in these drawers. But look at these drawers. They're like literally almost empty. These are all t-shirts, vests, sports clothes, joggers. And then this drawer have jeans. I put the stuff that doesn't fit me closer to the back. Jeans, work clothes, they don't fit, so they don't fit. Jeans that do fit, work clothes. And then these are all jumpers. Well, like jumpers take up so much space, but I just had it. If not, I could always put it in the big one. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm now wearing completely random clothes. It's like, did you even clear out your clothes if you don't end up wearing something completely random at the end of it? If you like this video, please leave it a like or a comment and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Ah.